Russian in Ukraine. For too long, the people of the Donbass, ethnic Russians, have been under threat. For too long, NATO has expanded to our doorstep. Despite past agreements, despite recent requests that they calm the F down, but now with NATO military infrastructure nearing our borders and the Russian people under threat in Ukraine, we have decided to intervene. We will denazify Ukraine. We will heal Ukraine with guns and bombs. And besides, USA invades lots of people, so why can't I? <laughs> I'll show you why you can't, you, you son of a... America? Listen, man, I'm kind of busy right now. I know, bro, I heard. This whole thing totally blows. So I was thinking, if you want, I can evac you out of there. Evacuate? Now? Well, yeah. I, I figured you wouldn't want to... Are you kidding me, bro? I need guns and ammunition, not a ride? Whoa, what? Are you all right? Sounds crazy. They have to go, America. I'll talk to you when I can. What am I going to do? I'm outnumbered. Man, I really hope our supply line maintains. Feels a bit sketchy, you know? Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hmm. Wait, 141 of you voted against Russia's war, but only 45 of us are going to sanction them? Ugh, lame. Not all of us believe sanctions are an effective tool of diplomacy. Are you sure it's not because half of your arms supply comes from Russia? Like you want to talk about arms sale. Uh, and the EU gets lots of gas from Russia. Welcome to the interconnected world. Well, uh, we've got a plan to get off Russian gas by the end of the year. Yeah, see? Here's a plan. <laughs> I know that laugh. <laughs> Good joke, friend Europa. Get off our gas if you want. See what happens. Don't make threats, Russia. What do you know? We were just thinking of doing some pipeline repairs. <laughs> if you think that's gonna scare off my military industrial, I, I mean us, scare us off, then you. God damn it! You all need to stop sitting around talking and send me more guns! Ukraine, what you do here? I'm just as much of a member of the United Nations as you are, Russia. Ooh, somebody's touchy. Because you're bombing my country! I'm allowed to be mad! The entire UN should sanction him! Uh, fun fact, as member of Security Council, I have veto power. <laughs> so, not going to happen. Exactly! So send me more guns and ammo, you... Sir, we have to move. What the boars? God damn it! I gotta go. Ah, that's it. NATO Europe, huddle time. Hey, I think this would have never happened if they had a really good VPN. Like Surfshark. Oh, yeah. Definitely like Surfshark, the sponsors of today's video. Surfshark VPN keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of your information sent between your device and the internet, protecting your data from big companies or cyber criminals. I know, right? Surfshark VPN can swap your real location to any other location in the world. <laughs> I use it to watch different shows and movies all around the globe. Hey, give me a list of your movie recommendations after this. Sure, Canada. <laughs> Surfshark is so convenient. So get Surfshark VPN by using our link in the description and get an 83% discount in three months for free by using our code Mr. Spherical. Even if the discount covers most of the cost, you get your money back if you don't like it. No pressure. That's a 30-day money-back guarantee. Oh, things are starting to get more heated up. Time to get back to the video. Look, guys, we gotta send Ukraine more aid. Lethal aid. Who's in? This would be very unprecedented. It's our policy not to send weapons to conflict zones. Well, that's a stupid policy. He's right, eh? Dumb policy. And I can't use my normal budget for military spend. Well, that's dumb too. You should, you should change that. Well, we could activate the European Peace Facility. What the heck is that? It's a special mechanism that allows us to spend more money on militarization. 
Hey, you call your military funding a peace facility? Yeah, that's weird. I just call it my explosion fund. Look, the reality is, we all need to start militarizing, and we need to arm Ukraine. We haven't exported weapons to war zones since World War II, but screw it, let's do this! Yes, I knew you guys still had some violence in you. Now, we have one last problem. How the heck do we get all those guns to Ukraine? Oh, hmm, you guys are neighbors with Ukraine, aren't you? Okay, keep your eyes peeled, my little onions. Ukrainsky could be around the corner. More fuel and supplies better be around the corner, too. Yeah, after the last Ukrainian attack, we're running way low. Come on, Timo Slav, don't be such negative Nazi. If we need supplies, we ask Ukrainians. You think they'll help us? Of course, we saved them from evil Western Nazi regime. Right. Hello, it's me, Russia, can we? Hello, we were just hoping. Hi, would you? Hello, we were hoping to talk to you today about our Lord and Savior, Vladimir Putin. Oh, to heck with it. If they won't recognize us as their rightful saviors and give us stuff, we'll just... I really cannot believe they aren't more thankful that we're helping them. You may have some unrealistic expectations about this war. You brought us into a messed up city. Very, very careful. You know, I have family in this town. One of my friends is from Kharkiv. We've damaged his supply lines badly. And we have it pinned down for now, but... But we need more boom booms Precisely, sir. What about the rest of the country? He's made gains in the east and the south. Heavy combat is ongoing at Zaporizhia power plant. We're outgunned. Hold him as long as you can and then fall back. Yes, sir. Weapons! I need more weapons! Ugh, this never would have happened if I'd kept all those Soviet nukes! Damn it, America! Where are you guys? Great! Just great! Come out and play, little Ukraine! <laughs> Time to become neutral! I'll show him neutral. Okay, Russia, let's... Oh, hey, man! You actually don't look so hot. What? You shut up! My military supply chain planning was impeccable. I... I didn't say anything about... Hey! What happened to your friend? I don't want to talk about it. Now, I hope you're ready to become a Russian, I mean, neutral buffer state. You know what? Fine. It was going to be nice, but fuck it. I'll go down fighting. Hey, Ukraine! Thought you might be needing some of these guys. Hit it, Poland! Toodles, chumps! Looks like Christmas came early this year. Oh, oh heck. Like it, huh? Does it feel good to be scared? Whoa! Whoa now, friend! Let's not make rash decisions! The only rash I have is you, Russia! I don't care anymore! Get out of here, or I'll give you a hot mouth full of rocket ice cream! You know what? You're right. I'll just head back where I come. And we, uh, we call it day for now. Better not be trick. No trick. Look. See, I'm leaving. No big deal. No, I need a freaking nap. Hey, yeah, no, it's not going like we planned. We're going to have to change tactics. Oh, 
want to go back and fight, Papa, like a real man. Oh, Jimmy, to fight or not to fight, this is not what makes a man. Fighting is not always strength. Strength can be resilience, thoughtfulness, or compassion. Many things. What about our soldiers? I hope that they fight. Not to prove themselves as men, but, but to protect others. Now come, let us go visit Aunt Amelia in Krakow. She's expecting us. Special thanks to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. Get Surfshark VPN by using our link in the description and get 83% off in three months for free by using our code, Mr. Spherical.